Okay, welcome everybody. Well, this is going to be a little instructional video for those that do not how do not know how to post a iDoc. Very simple, very simple. You couldn't get anything much more simple than this. After you find one, you're sitting here at the place. Now the real easy thing to do, I grab my map and pull it down here below me. <clears throat> this gives you the ideal shot for a picture. And as you can see, right here in the top corner of this map, there's the coordinates right there. Can't get messed up at all. <clears throat> see if I move, they've changed. So there's the coordinates, there's the map. <clears throat> now, I don't know how many people actually use this, but uh, I do. It's a little program called GreenShot. Very good. Find it, you can, you can find it on the internet, just search for it, you'll find it. It's called GreenShot. And it's, there's a built-in one, but this one's actually easier. So all I got to do is put my mouse, my mouse right here, you can see my mouse, put it up here in the top-hand corner, and I push the screen print button. When I do the screen print button, it gives me a target, which now you can't see it because it's, it's a secondary thing. So the, the, uh, my uh, OBS is not picking it up, but it'll give you a target. And you just push and hold and drag it down across your whole map to the bottom corner of your map and let go. And it'll automatically pull up your uh, place you have where you've been saving them. The first time you'll have to pick a spot, but then from then on it'll automatically pull up that spot. <clears throat> And you let go, and you put it gives it another window will pop up, a little gump. And it'll ask you a bunch of questions for what, what are you going to do. The very first one is the one you want to pick, and you can save it <clears throat> to that spot. Then you got your picture. Then you can put your map back wherever you had it. Which right here, you can see when I did mine, when I did mine, I had it sitting here, and I moused over right here on Transic. So, well, I think I did it right there. West Trinity Gate. So, if you look close enough with the map, you can see that that's Trinity right there. If you don't, if you're new to the game and don't know the map locations, I usually do that. Highlight something, give you a clue where it's at, other than the uh, coordinates. Now, if you're using. Uh, Classic UO, all you got to do is right click. I don't know if it'll show it on here or not. Ah, it will. Right click in here, it says go to location. You type in the coordinates. And this is for anybody that's when you're looking at the ones in the, when they're already been found. You just type in them coordinates right there and it'll pull it up in your map. Now you got to make sure you're in the right facet that it's in. You can't do it if you're in malice. You can't do this and pull up ones in in uh, another place in another facet it has to be the same one you're in and it'll pull it up on your map and show you exactly where it is it's another cool feature but then and now i'm going to i'm going to do it after the fact i'm going to add it to the picture to the video here i'm going to post a picture of my discord and a little hint at the top of the UOA Discord, there's a one section that says favorites. So to make it simple for finding iDocs later on when you're trying to keep track of them all, all you got to do is right click the iDoc channel. 
and, and it'll say save to favorites. You save it to your favorites, it'll put it up there in that thing. So from then on, when somebody posts an IDOC, you'll get a, a alert up there that shows you that somebody posted something. And it makes it simple to go up there and find it. Now, when you click up there and it shows it, now, if you are first time you're going to an IDOC and it's, it's, let's say it's smoking or it's not smoking either way, and you post one of your answers, it'll automatically make you start following it. Now, if you don't post anything on that file, on that uh, IDOC location in Discord, over on the right-hand side, there'll be a little deal that says follow. You click it, and it'll put it in that list. So anytime you want to look at that IDOC, you can see them right there. And if there's like five IDOCs like there is right now, I have a list, and you'll see on my picture that I'm going to post. I'll leave it on my screen for quite a bit during the video. You'll be able to see that there is all these IDOCs. And if they're updated, they'll be highlighted if somebody's made a comment in one of them. So I keep, I keep my those all right at the top easy to find never you can't get confused with them they're right there so anyway when you're doing your idoc and you're listing it on the in discord i this is how i do it and it's what it does when it's in that list the name at the top is what shows up in the first little bit of the thing so I put, when I type them into my, into my Discord to list them, I'll put the facet, tram, malice, Takuno, wherever. Then I put the two coordinates. Then I put the item count. <laughs> There's my friend just showed up. Uh, hi, Lessa. She don't know I'm videoing right now. Uh, and that's what I'll put. So when when you pull up your, and see after that, when I mark my rune, when I mark my rune, I do the same thing. I put, when I'm naming it, I put the facet, and I put, I put facet, tram, mouse, whatever, then capital, I dock, and then the amount, the number of items, and put items after that. So it's almost identical to my name that I named it in my post. So, and if anybody else does, if they list something, they normally put it sort of like that. So that's what I named my my rune, and I have a separate book that I keep my IDOCs in. And I just keep recycling them when they're done. I'll just pop them back out of there, and then I'll rename them for something else. But I have a, a book in my... It's right here in my deal. It says IDOCs. <clears throat> and you can see these are all the current IDOCs. Well, it says these ones right here. I, I keep two in there that just because I know, I, I like to know where them two spots are. Anyway, so they're all in there. See, tram, IDOC, item, and the number, and items. Fell, IDOC, the amount of items, and there. So they're all right there in order, and I can go find them to see what's going on makes it real simple so then you fill out it on your on your deal on uh, discord you will pull it up let me see if I can do something real quick okay <clears throat> you should be able to see my discord now and see I have clicked I clicked uh, well let me get out of this right here you're in the iDoc channel, which I've got, see, there's my favorites, there's iDocs, that's all the iDocs, and I have general discussion here in case somebody says something in there on iDocs. You click new post, then this is where you put your picture, so you'll click here, it'll bring up your file, and you can find the file where you got your picture at that you saved earlier, and then that, and add that, and it'll put it right there for right now, and your title. This is where I would put, I would put fell, and then numbers, oops, way too many, the coordinates, 
and I would put item count and then I'd put items. Oops, I messed up. R D O. Oh, I, on here I don't do that. I do on my brune. There, that's what I do. Then you have to click this. That makes it where it'll post it. It has to, it has to have a tag on it. Now sometimes right here I'll put no smoke if I'm the you know if I'm posting I usually put no smoke, or I might add some key information. There's some other stuff. Uh, if you want to put all, if there's power scrolls or something odd there that you want to want to show people, uh, but that's how you do it. And then you push post, and then it'll add it to the posts, and it'll be added in your list here. <laughs> yeah, people are you got it's real. People are real nice here. If you can give them extra information. Tell them something. See if you use that, uh, whatever that thing's called. It's right above your, or right to the right of your P. Uh, if, you, if you can push that and type where, and it'll show you what facet you're in, what location you're at. So if you're not sure if you're in Fell or Tram, this will that'll tell you. It makes it real easy. Okay, now we're back to here. Now, when you get here, item count. Oh, now see this one. Look at that. That was weird. Did you see that? Wow. It let me in there for a second. That was weird. <laughs> well, if it's open, you can go right inside. Yes, hi, Lessa. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Uh, you would you want to do you need to do an item count. Now if the door is open, you can go inside and just mouse over each box. And you can count the app. I, I pull my admin machine, my calculator up on my computer, and just keep track. Count them, count them, count them. Then you can push your item, put your item count. Now, if they're not there, you push the control and the shift key, and it shows you everything that's in there. Now, if there's not a whole bunch, you can go through real quick and just right click and get rid of the ones you don't need to know. Now, these, I need to know these later, but. So I can get rid of all these. Uh, interior decorator I don't need there. Mirror. Okay, there's our three things that hold items. So you can just count them up. 29, 23, and 7. You add them all together, you got your count. Now I went ahead and added all the extra stuff because there wasn't very much of it. And you just, just, that's where you get your item count. Real simple. I didn't know that little trick when I started and I was doing circle trans and running around and trying to figure out what was in it and that's that when you do this it's like oh well that's stupid that's simple so there you go now you got all your counts and you just saw that when it well when we put smoking that lightning you just saw, saw and you'll see these little poofs of smoke around it there right there they look like little whirlwind things that and the lightning when you see that lightning that's what smoking means. Not this reading. It'll do it when I run back up to it now. They were above me. We got it reworded because it did say smoke in here and people were getting very confused thinking that meant it was smoking. But this one, this is just means it's it's an eye doc. And you'll see that right here in the name. In danger of collapse. So now you know how to do an eye doc. You can just find it. Now I got, if you can see my backpack here, I've got a whole bunch of atlases in here. This one's tram, this one's tram, this is fell, this is dungeons, this is malice, and this is my eye doc one. So I've got a lot of locations already put. I've already got them that I've been, and I have marked them in here, so I keep them. So I can, by the map, when I see the map, I can usually get pretty close to this one right here. I had the location, I forgot, my brother gated me here, but I forgot I had this right here. And if you look on the map, it shows you Valley Tunnel. Because right down here below, this right here is where Painted Cave is. Or if you're in Fell, that's where the unicorns spawn in there, at that Painted Cave. But I already had this spot right here, which happened to be right close to this one. So I've got locations saved all over the map. 
out in the out in the way out <laughs> where you don't usually go where they they do have some houses. So that is how you post a iDoc. You don't. This is not a rule. You don't have to post it that way, but it's the nice way to do it. It's all of us guys that do iDocs. We kind of expect a the coordinates and an item count. Some people don't mess with small item count ones. Sometimes you get lucky on them. And you get something cool. Uh, but we have some people that pretty much camp all the big ones beforehand. Uh, you never know. Some of these little ones, they might have something like a Davies, you know, map thing or a, who knows what. Or now that we can get uh, soul stones. But... Uh, I don't know. It's uh, and you see the I call them the deals, the 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 things I call them worm trails. It's like in uh, worm sign in Dune. You'll see them on the ground, and they'll they'll if you're close enough. I don't remember what the I don't know what the real distance are that they that they that they come up on the ground at, but it's a couple screen, couple two three screens away. If you see them, you know you're close. And if you watch them, they'll go. They'll aim towards it, and you and you'll see the way they go, and you'll be able to kind of get close to it. But if you look on your map, you can pretty much see that, like right here, all these green spots are a spot where houses are, because the rest of it's trees. So you can't build a house. Well, you can sneak them in here and there, but the obvious is, and see right here, major green spot. See, somebody else could put a small like eight by eight right here too, if they wanted to. But uh, that is, wow, we're 16 minutes. That's just a little how-to on how to post iDocs, how to find them, how to list them, the, uh, the nice way to list them, make it for, easy for everybody else. Uh, especially, uh, you got to think when you're posting them is think of people that are new to the game that have no clue how to find something like that, how to use the map. Uh, I know a lot of people use different uh, different of the loaders, but, and I was really into enhanced land. That's where I had moved to, and I have came back. Classic UO gives you all the stuff that enhanced did, and you still get the old old school Art and I like it. The enhanced. Now you do need enhanced. Does make uh, building houses a little easier. There's some little tricks you can do on there with that. And uh, but uh, I like this one. And if anybody new wants to play UO and they want to have fun, and I preach this to my friends, they all they'll say, "Well, why do you play UOA?" Well, the fun is to play the game with your guy made. Who wants to spend two months to a year building skill? When here, we've got a ton of free skills. We've got, you can, you can script. If you use, uh, I have, I have my enhanced razor that I downloaded with my thing and you can get all the macros and you can use them for building skill. If you're in your house training on something, that's fine to do. You can't use it for resource gathering, but you don't need to. I mean, this this game, they make it easy for you to build your skill and get your player up where you can play him. And you don't have to sit and do all that goofy training all the time. Some of us don't like that. Uh, sit there and keep doing that, doing that, doing that, trying to get your skill built up. And the skill built up here is fast. Oh, well, it's not fast, fast, but it's way faster than OSI. And then if you add a, a blue, uh, a blue uh, deal to it, it even goes faster for at least 15 minutes. Now, as you can see, we're gonna run through these real quick. Go back up to the top one, and I need to shrink this down so I can keep that page up. 
See, that's smoking pretty good. I will show you this in a minute. I uh, I tried timing them, the lightning strikes, and I think they were doing different. It was like I had some that were up in the 15 to 18 seconds between them, and we were a long ways off. Then I get down to 10 seconds between lightning strikes, and then it was then it was within a couple hours it would pop. Then you get down to eight seconds in between them, and they pop pretty soon. So I don't know if it's true. Don't know if that's how it's set up, but it sure seemed like it to me. I could be totally wrong. Okay, here in my IDOC deal, we're going to go to this one. Here's this one. It's right here. And you can see it's not smoking yet. And I posted... Uh, Come on, scoot over here. Put that back up there. I posted that it was uh, smoking at 12.39. Now, that's another thing that I I don't know why people don't do, do this. They On your uh, Discord, it gives you a timestamp. If they're not smoking, about every hour posting about it is fine. We don't need 15 and 20 minutes because it lights up and somebody has to go check on it. When they see it in their list, they see it highlighted. means somebody posted something so it could be smoking. Well, if it's not smoking, every hour is fine unless you find it that it's smoking. It's not a rule to do that, but that's just, I don't know, makes it a little nicer than everybody else. So this one is, if you look at my book, it's the uh, tram... 180, I put 189. I think I messed that one up on the number. I don't think it's 189. Oh, there it is. I guess it is from 189. That's this one right here. Let's see what this one says. But anyway. Uh, go to the next one. There's this one. Oh, this one's this one. Huh. Is this the one that's... Oh, that's like new. Ah, there we go. I forgot I was on that. I, made the, I checked it up. put it on that side of it. When did I do this one? Sorry, I'm not trying to be rude whoever that was standing there. I'm right in the middle of doing this, so. Uh, this one was at 1240, now it's 114. So that's not, see, 140 would be the next time, so I won't do that. So, that's how you do it. Or that's how at least I do it. But that is how you post them. So, uh, there you go. Hopefully that'll help some people out on posting iDocs. It's very simple. Don't let it intimidate you. Uh, if you get a, have a problem posting, ask somebody. You can see who all posts them usually. So it's real easy to find them, figure out how to do them. So, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get back into doing videos again. I kind of slacked off for a little bit, been busy doing some other things, in-game and real-life stuff, so there's this one, and I will talk to you guys all next time.